I'm Pia and this is Kini News. The Crown Prince of Johor has urged Prime Minister Anwar to be more courageous in his decisions making. Tunku Ismail also has doubts on whether Anwar has the right people in his team. Johor Crown Prince Tunku Ismail Sultan Ibrahim said that Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim has good intentions but needs to be braver in making decisions for the country. He said this in an episode of the Keluar Sekejap podcast hosted by former Rembau MP Kari Jamaluddin and former BN Information Chief Cheryl Hamdan. I think he has to execute more in making decisions. Mm. And I don't know whether he has a good team or not. Mm. I don't think he has a good team. Pandangan saya. Okay, I think memang uh, niat nak membuat sesuatu tu ada. Okay, of course he wants to see uh, the country do well. Itu sudah tentu. But I think he has to execute a little bit more ataupun mesti ada a bit brave atau berani in terms of making decision. Yeah. Tak, tak boleh jaga hati semua orang. Mm. You have to make a decision what's best for the country. Yeah. And sometimes if that being a hated untuk membuat apa kita dia dibenci oleh kerana membuat keputusan apa yang baik untuk negara sometimes you have to bite the bullet meanwhile in response to a question on his thoughts on Malaysia beyond Johor Tunku Ismail said he wanted to see change including an improvement on the education system in the country he added that he also wanted to see more qualified people running the country and that they should be chosen based on merit and not seniority PAS has hit out at the 12 PKR MPs who called for the Palestine Solidarity Week in schools to be reviewed, suggesting they were painting the wrong picture of the Palestinian struggle. PAS has taken issue with PKR representatives who have used terms like grudges, resentment and violence as the basis of their concerns in calling for a review of the Palestine Solidarity Week in schools. In a statement, PAS Secretary General Takiuddin Hassan said PKR politicians should be more careful in this matter so that they are not seen as trying to paint the wrong picture of the Palestinian struggle. He said PAS agrees that schools should refrain from extreme displays of solidarity. However, using the terms could expose the PKR representatives to misunderstanding. According to Takiuddin, they can be mistaken as subtly sabotaging the Education Ministry's good efforts to expose our students towards the ongoing conflict in that region and also to Malaysia's policy and stance on the matter. His statement came after 12 PKR representatives called for a review of the Education Ministry's Palestine Solidarity Week so that schools and public institutions are free from elements of hatred and violence. In a joint statement yesterday, the group, all of whom are of Chinese ethnicity, said the government and the people need to maintain a rational mind while supporting the Palestinian struggle and never raise the issue of grudges and violence in public institutions. In the statement, Takiuddin pointed out that all the PKR representatives who called for the review of the Solidarity Programme are non-Muslims and are from the same ethnicity and raised concerns that it would expose the group's objections to its misinterpretations and notions that are neither healthy nor productive. He added that PAS agrees that the somewhat excessive displays of the programme in several schools, as reported previously, should be avoided. However, he said it is not a core or important issue to be used as a point to cancel or reconsider the program. Meanwhile, the PKR MPs who had called for the review have hit back at PAS for misinterpreting their stance on the issue. The 12 PKR elected representatives who had called for a review of the Palestine Solidarity Week initiative in schools have stated that they are against Israel's aggression against the Palestinian people. In a statement today, the 12 representatives said their stand has been misinterpreted. They also called on the United Nations to impose sanctions on Israel and to ensure that humanitarian aid reaches those in Gaza. They clarified that their earlier statement, which aired concerns about elements of extremism in the Palestine Solidarity Week, should not be interpreted as opposing Palestine or supporting Israel. They pointed out that some of them have stated their opposition to Israel's atrocities in Parliament, state legislators and even at international platforms. The politicians also slammed past Secretary General Takiuddin Hassan for his comments on their earlier statement. They said Takiuddin's claim that their narrative mirrors the Western media's propaganda is shallow and malicious. 
They added that the allegations were baseless and it also shows his narrow political outlook which labels any constructive suggestion as siding with a party. The lawmaker said such tactics would not help in getting people to support the Palestinian struggle, which is not only a religious fight but is also a fight for freedom by oppressed people. They added that therefore it is crucial to create a constructive discourse on the matter to garner public support. The Twelve also reiterated their support and said they are ready to help initiatives by the Rakyat to fight for humanity and solidarity for the Palestinian people. Donate to Kini TV to show your support and help us sustain as an independent online news portal that delivers breaking news. Do support us. Your contribution matters. Another PN MP has come out to support PM Anwar Ibrahim and he's willing to face the consequences for the sake of his voters. Bersatu's Labuan MP Shuhaili Abdul Rahman has voiced support for Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim's premiership, citing the rising cost of living in his constituency. In a statement today, he also voiced support for the leadership of Sabah Chief Minister Haji Dinor, whom he said helped a lot of Labuan folk by providing jobs and business opportunities in the state JLCs since the latter started helming the state. However, he stressed that despite voicing support for Anwar and Hajiji, he will remain a loyal Bursatu member. He added he is willing to face possible disciplinary action from the party in return for looking after the welfare of his constituents, who he says have been left out of development due to the current clashes in political narratives. Suhaili is the second Perikatan Nasional lawmaker to back Anwar after Kuala Kangsa MP Iskandar Zulkarnain Abdul Khalid did the same earlier this month. The Bersatu leadership had recently issued a show cause letter to Iskandar. With the backing of the two PN MPs, Anwar should now have the support of 149 MPs, just over two-thirds, and be able to amend the federal constitution. Government MPs are calling for actions to be taken against Suhaimi Abdullah over his remarks in the Dewan Rakyat last week. Several MPs have spoken out against Langkawi MP Muhammad Suhaimi Abdullah for allegedly making sexist and lewd remarks towards Sepute MP Theresa Kok in the Dewan Rakyat. This included DAP lawmaker Sherlina Abdul Rashid, who said that MPs should maintain themselves to a higher standard of conduct as public representatives. In a press conference at Parliament today, she labelled the comment as disgusting and also criticised Suhaimi for deflecting from the issue being debated. Dan tambah pula, bila keluarkan kenyataan seperti itu, dia seolah-olahnya divert attention. Jadi sebagai orang kata policy maker, ya, tak kisahlah mana-mana pun, janganlah sway daripada isu-isu yang sebenarnya. Ya, Focus on the issue. Bentong MP Yang Shifura Othman and Kepong MP Lim Lip Eng have since referred Suhaimi to the Parliamentary Rights and Privileges Committee over the remark. Batu MP P. Prabhakaran also commented on the issue, saying that Suhaimi's remark showed his maturity. He called on MPs in the opposition bloc to support the motion to refer Suhaimi to the Parliamentary Rights and Privileges Committee. Suhaimi had made the remarks last week after Theresa had asked about the dress code on the island due to several complaints from foreign tourists. Anthony Lok has told the representatives in DAP to fulfill their responsibilities well or else they might be replaced. DAP Secretary General Anthony Lok has warned elected representatives from the party that they will be replaced if they don't meet their KPIs. During the 22nd Perak DAP convention yesterday, Lok pointed out that they have been entrusted with a big mandate and the people's expectations are also very high. He also reminded them of the expectations when they were first announced as candidates. Selepas kita membuat pengumuman calon, saya dengan saudara Nga panggil semua calon kita kumpulkan di atas. Ingatkan kepada setiap calon. Anda diberikan amanah, diberikan peluang menjadi calon bagi pihak DAP. Yang pertamanya, kita mesti buat yang sebaik-baiknya. Jangan sesekali memalukan parti DAP. Jangan malukan parti dengan tidak menunaikan tanggungjawab dan kewajipan sebagai calon dan juga sebagai wakil. Look at it that the party leadership will always assess the performance of all DAP elected representatives, be it at the federal level, state level or in the local government. He said DAP has a lineup of potential second-liners who could be given the opportunity to be the people's elected representative. 
In Pera alone, he said there are 99 local council members along with more than 100 village chiefs and community leaders. And that is all from me today. For more stories, you can go to kinitv.com. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube and Facebook for the latest news update. If you'd like to support independent media, do consider subscribing to malaysiakini.com. I'm Pia. Thanks for watching.